I've been designing little houses ranging from 70 to 770 square feet for about 10 years now. I built 11 of them myself, and I've lived in three. I spend between 100 and 500 hours refining each design. There isn't any margin for error in a tiny house because every inch counts. Most of my time is spent on proportioning and making every bit of space usable. If you follow my easy-to-read plans for venting, structure, and materials, you'll end up with a house that's as durable as it is beautiful. Each set of plans contains four elevation drawings of the front, back, and rear of the structure. The most detailed drawings are the floor plans. As you can see, all dimensions are laid out to within one sixteenth of an inch so that everything functions perfectly. This is an upstairs floor plan. The transverse section is basically a drawing of what the house would look like if it were cut in half. It lists all of the framing and finished materials for the walls, floor, and roof. If you're intending to tow your house down the road, this is one page you don't want to do without. The foundation plan illustrates how floor joists are laid out, and if you're building a house on wheels, this page explains how to do it with easy step-by-step -step instructions and graphics. Because every inch needs to be laid out so carefully in the tiny mobile structures, I've included drawings of the wall framing, too. These clearly depict how the walls fit around the wheel wells, the length of each piece of lumber, and how everything fits together. Detail elevations are included with all plans for the mobile designs. Like the other drawings, these present all of the most essential measurements. And remember, because the drawings are to scale, any enlisted dimension can be found with a ruler. Every set of drawings includes electrical plans showing the location of every outlet, switch, and light. These also indicate which outlets require a ground fault indicator. A materials list details everything from what size and type of windows you'll need to the make and type of the kitchen sink. Almost everything on the list can be found at your local home improvement store. This is Greg Johnson, co-founder and president of the Small House Society. Here he's shown building his own tumbleweed house. This is one of my largest designs built by a customer in Maine. Here's Dee Williams, one of my first customers to build her own house. You can also come to one of my building workshops. I host several each year all over the country. I talk with tiny house builders like you about everything from foundation concerns to rooftop construction. And when all is said and done, you too will have a beautifully proportioned, fully functioning little house.